Hi everyone, it's Tamara, your digital marketing strategist and in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can integrate lead pages with Webinar Jam. Uh, lead pages is obviously a very popular software that you can use online to create um, beautiful landing pages but also you can create landing pages that you can split test, that you can customize quite a lot um, and Webinar Jam is one of the top tools to use for uh, running webinars, teleclasses um, or coaching calls with your clients. Um, however, unfortunately, at the moment, they don't integrate with each other. So, uh, this is my, for example, uh, page that I've created in Lead Pages to create uh, webinar registrations. Um, so, here, when someone wants to sign up, I've got integration settings, and the only webinar option they offer is go to webinar. Um, or you can integrate with quite a lot of different email marketing tools. So the way you can do it is you can integrate lead pages with your chosen email marketing tool. This can be Infusionsoft, Weber, MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, it really doesn't matter which one you use. Uh, so when someone then signs up for your webinar, first they'll end up on your email list. So as an example, we're going to look at MailChimp. For example, um, when someone signs up, they end up in my this test VMA customers list. Um, and then what I need to do is I need to make MailChimp send this information across to Webinar Jam, which is now the new Webinar Jam Studio, um, and tell Webinar Jam that this new subscriber has just been registered. So this person is also added to the registration for a relevant webinar. So the way you do it is by using a third-party tool called Zapier, so which is zapier.com. Um, so for this, what you need to do is you need to create your webinar. So you create a webinar and when you get to the point where it says integrations, here you've got API custom integrations and that's what we're going to use. So you need to activate it, you click the pencil button, click confirm and it becomes active. And then we'll need to copy the details, so the webinar code and API key that's uh, personal to your specific account. Um, and webinar code is different for each webinar that you create. So the full guidance is available in Webinar Jam API. So here we need to scroll down to the last bit, which it says register person to specific webinar. So we'll need to use this instruction. Uh, we need to use the keys from Webinar Jam. And we need to use Zapier. So we'll go to Zapier, you can register an account. And then you go to make a new zap. And then here you need to find that the email marketing software you use, so it can be MailChimp, or Weber, Active Campaign, whatever you have. So um, MailChimp, and then the new trigger here is new subscriber. And then here. You choose this integration called Webhook. And in the list of actions, we select Post. So when a new subscriber is added to MailChimp, we send this Webhook Post uh, integration, which is API integration basically, uh, which will go to Webinar Jam. Now we click Continue. So you need to link your email marketing account with Zapier. Um, you can view the tutorials how to do it because slightly different depending on which exactly email account you use. And then we need to set up all the integration parts. So the list, let's say this list. Uh, so when a new subscriber is added to this VMA customers list, which um, can be my webinar list. So next we need to set up the actual details for the hook 
and this is where we'll be using the instructions from Webinar Jam. So the URL so URL we will be using is this app webinar jam register. The the type of integration is JSON. Uh, so from the list select JSON. Um, then we need to set up the values as per this list. So the first one is API key and then from here we copy the actual API key from our account. And then we add another one. Next one is webinar ID. Copy that. Go to webinar jam, copy the webinar code. And paste into Zapier. Add another one. Next we need to provide person's name. This we get from MailChimp, so we use this insert MailChimp field. And then here we find, okay, this is merges, F name, Tamara. And then we add another one. Next one is email of the person who registered. And again, we get it from our MailChimp list. So email. And then next one that we must have is the schedule. If you're just running a one-off webinar event, like she just runs this week, today, that's it, then your schedule is zero. If you have a um, multi-event, so like you have um, a presentation today and tomorrow and several times next week and when you want to register the person you want to register them for the whole series which is like a, a telesummit for example then you can use um, different numbers here but in most cases you'll just have it as zero okay so now we checked so API IP address we don't have to have country code we don't have to have and phone number we don't have to have so these five fields are the required fields, everything else you don't need to set up. So we'll go back to Zapier. We don't need to wrap in an array, we don't need to use the file, we don't need to flatten, we don't need this, we don't need this, and we click continue. And then it says test the trigger. So it gives you several data samples, so you can preview what your samples are going to be like. So this is my actual my own details, which is fine. So I can click send and it says success. So my integration been correct. You can also preview another um, data request from here. And then you click continue. The name is up. and then you turn it on. So this zap will check for new subscribers every 15 minutes and it will then grab everyone who's registered for your email list in the last 15 minutes and send those details to Webinar Jam. So once they're registered in Webinar Jam then you can use Webinar Jam notification system which was the this previous step here. So then Webinar Jam can send um, can send them a welcome message, uh, reminders, last minute reminder, and then if you want to tell people about replay, then all of this will be handled in Webinar Jam which is a lot easier for you rather than you having to set up all these messages in your email marketing system. Um, so if you want to then create another integration for a different webinar, uh, you can either edit this integration. 
So basically, you'll need to then change the list if you have a different webinar. Um, and in here, you'll need to change your webinar ID because this will change for each new webinar that you create in Webinar Jam. And then again, you save, update, and this integration will run again. Uh, alternatively, you can replicate existing integrations through this rename function, uh, through the copy function, sorry. Um, so if you want to promote several webinars at the same time, and you have several main MailChimp lists where your <coughs> subscribers will be registering with uh, through lead pages, then you can have several zaps um, happening at the same time. If you just promote one webinar at a time, then you can just have one zap and then you just edit it um, every time you announce a new webinar. So you'll uh, change the MailChimp list and change your webinar code from Webinar Jam. Uh, the another cool thing with this is actually you can just use a free Zapier account, um, at least to start with. So you can have five Zaps as a free account. Um, so you can have five integrations like this. Um, and you can process 100 tasks per month. So that's 100 notifications per month sent. Um, if you need more than that, then you can um, upgrade to a basic account which will be $15 a month and then you can have 3,000 tasks per month so you can register 3,000 people um, from MailChimp into uh, Webinar Jam. Okay. Um, so that's the Zapier integration between lead pages where you host your landing pages your email marketing system, which can be MailChimp, can be ActiveCampaign, Aweber, and, um, and many other systems. Or, and finally, WebinarJam, which will be your uh, webinar delivery system.